Hello, this is Ajinkya Vaksavare, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics. This is the fifth video regarding electron optics. In this video, I am going to explain the concept of motion of an electron in combined electric and magnetic field. Consider an electron shown by the black solid sphere. Now consider the two metal plates. One metal plate is positively charged. Second metal plate is negatively charged. So electric field is developed between these two plates and the direction of electric field will be vertically downward. So as the electron enters into the region of electric field, electric field exerts a force on that electron and the force is given as F is equals to minus E into capital E. Due to this electric force, the direction of motion of an electron will change. Okay. Now, consider the region of magnetic field and the direction of magnetic field is into the plane. Also, the magnetic field exerts a force on the moving electron and the force is given as F is equals to minus E into V into B. Here V stands for velocity of an electron or a charge and uh, capital B stands for the magnetic field. So electron also changes the direction of motion when moving through the magnetic field. Now consider a region where both electric and magnetic fields are present. So when an electron is moving through the region where electric and magnetic fields are present, both the fields exert forces on an electron. So the total force acting on an electron is given as Ft is equals to minus E into E plus in bracket minus E V into B. So basically the total force acting on an electron is the vector sum of the electric force and the magnetic force. So when an electron is moving through the region where electric and magnetic fields are present, the total force acting on an electron is the vector addition of electric force and the magnetic force. This force is also called as the Lorentz force. Now consider a special case where electron is moving through the region of crossed field. So let us discuss the topic motion of an electron in crossed field. Now what is the meaning of crossed field? Crossed field is a region where electric and magnetic fields are present, but that fields are perpendicular to each other. So crossed field means a region where uh, electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other. Crossed fields are generally used in some experiments like J.J. Uh, Thomson's experiment, Hall effect and uh, Ben mass spectrograph, etc. Now consider an electron shown by the black solid sphere. Consider electric field produced by the two metal plates. One is positively charged, second one is negatively charged. So the direction of electric field will be vertically downward. Consider a region of magnetic field. Magnetic field is pointing into the plane. So the direction of electric field is vertically downward. Direction of magnetic field is into the plane. So in this case, the electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other. So this region is the region of crossed field. Now consider an electron that is moving through this particular region of crossed field. The electric field will exert a force on an electron and the force is given as F is equals to minus E. -E. Due to this force, electron will change its direction. Also, the magnetic force exert if magnetic field exerts a force on an electron and the force is given as minus E into V into B. So due to this force, electron will also change its path, something like this. Now, if the magnitudes of electric force and the magnetic force are equal, then the electron will remain undeviated. So this is the important case here. Whenever 
the magnitudes of both the forces are same then the electron will follow the same path electron will travel a straight line path electron remain undeviated and deflected so this is the animation uh, where you can see an electron is moving through the straight line path so if the magnitudes are equal then e into e that is the electric force is equals to evb that is the magnetic force so both the forces are equal and opposite in this case we can say that so e e is equals to evb after doing some mathematics uh, we get v is equals to e upon b now what is this v is equal to e upon b so this is the velocity of an electron or a charge so if the charge or an electron possesses uh, this much amount of velocity that is e upon b then the electron or a charge remains undeviated so when an electron is moving through the region of crossed field and if the velocity of an electron is e upon b then the net force acting on an electron will be zero and uh, electron will remain undeviated so this crossed field is also used as a velocity selector so this is what basically the crossed field is okay thank you